Placemaking is the intersection of building and engineering, plus commerce, plus creativity. It's the moment when those things come together. There's lots of different kinds of placemakings, but it's the fundamental part of it is a, it's a place where people want to be. It attracts people, it creates spontaneity, it, it creates magic. Other than physical attributes, things that make a space great have to do with the culture and passion that's coming out of that space. We had very humble beginnings. We started out in the post office building over on the north side, and the visionary leaders at the time really um, had a long-term vision of transforming that part of the north side. So when we think about placemaking, and we, we talked a lot about the bricks and mortar buildings, it's not so much that, it's, it's what's happening inside that place. So we've been able to build um, the largest cultural campus for children and families in, in the United States, and it's what happens every day in those places. It's um, the transformations that are happening in our make shop. It's the art that's created in our studios. It's the ideas that we're testing out in Tech Lab. Those are all of the things that we're very excited about. And one of the things that our executive director, Jane Warner, often says is you can't fail a museum. So we're really excited to be part of that journey with children and their families. And uh, we can't wait to see what happens next. The Miller Street Apartments project came about about four years ago when we really seen an opportunity and a need for more affordable housing. We found the site in the Hill District and we worked with a church community to have some liens forgiven and then had to submit the project to PHFA, the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency, to compete for tax credits where we competed against developers across the entire state of Pennsylvania. By the grace of God, we were one of the ones selected. I really felt like this was an opportunity to really bring a higher standard to affordable housing. It's an investment in the future. If, if we're not investing in affordable housing, then eventually these neighborhoods, you know, the, the low-income folks won't be able to live there, so they won't be connected to opportunity, uh, and that really has a generational impact and generational effect. Placemaking is all about imagining a space from the user's point of view and creating a space where employees want to come and work, shoppers want to come and shop, and families want to come and live. And we all want to return to it. Assemble was started in 2011, and this idea started off as a Google document. And it's a startup nonprofit where we do things for big kids like us and little people who are under 18, and. It's all about building confidence through making, uniting artists, makers, technologists, and learners to come create, connect, transform, and learn together. We bring in folks from universities and other organizations and place them in a very everyday space, a storefront. So on the kid's way home from school, they can come and meet a scientist. They can meet engineers and also see how they might be true an engineer as well. It's not only important, it's essential. Cities are succeeding today because talented people, people want to live in those cities. Participating in ULI placemaking, you get to see how different developers, different investors, different placemakers create new spaces that the communities can participate in and be a part of and use for many, many decades. Well, the history of Shiloh Street in the Mount Washington area dates back to the late 1800s when the Monongahela Incline was first built in 1870. That's when Shiloh Street boomed and the commercial district evolved just beyond there. However, in the mid-century of um, around the 1950s, there was a plan to revitalize Grandview Avenue and high-rise residential buildings and radio towers cut the business district off from Grandview Avenue. So, the Mount Washington Community Development Corporation for decades now have been trying to reestablish that link between the biggest tourist attraction in Pittsburgh, first day attraction we, where we see over a million visitors a year into the heart of the district, into Shiloh Street. I think what makes a place great is diversity. Um, in order to have an exciting business district, I think there needs to be a diversity of business types and people that make up those businesses so that when people are coming 
to that business district as a destination, there's something there for everybody. For cities to be successful, I think their leadership, whether it's public or private leadership, needs to have three, three characteristics. They need to be nimble, they need to be curious, and they need to have an appetite for risk. So they're small little places, they're, they're, they're whole neighborhoods, can, can, but it's about creating um, vitality in a place where people want to be. And you see that's what's making cities successful today. And you see a lot of that happening in Pittsburgh. Developing places is incremental. It is one thing to have this vision and want it all tomorrow. But it takes time. And it's taken us decades to get where we are and to see the success where we are right now. Developing a place has to do with consistency, trust building, and just being present and part of a neighborhood. Special places make the city of Pittsburgh exciting. It, it creates a place, a special place, for whatever reasons for people. It could be a place of contemplation, it could be a place of joy, it could be a lots of different emotions, but it touches people. Place making is essential to creating healthy communities. Place making is essential to transformative thinking. Special places make the city of Pittsburgh a great place to be. That's, it changes people, it engages people in the city.